I got good news and I got bad news. Which one you want first? Uh, the last thing I ever wanted to do was leave you feeling disappointed. The bad news is I'm injured and I need surgery. This is a bump in the road. It hurts. It hurts like hell. I want to wrestle for you. I want to wrestle right now. And the get back is going to be bigger than the setback. I will come back bigger, faster, stronger, and hungrier than ever before. Welcome to Jobbed Out, the wrestling editorial that reminds you that you gotta be safe when you're diving into a mosh pit. Bet you didn't see this one coming. AEW World Champion CM Punk got on Twitter to tweet that he's got an important announcement in regards to both his newly won title and his career to take place during tonight's Rampage on TNT. Prior to the show's main event, Punk noticeably hobbled to the ring and declared that he has sustained a foot injury that will require surgery and he'll have to disappear for a while. He also clarified that he attempted to relinquish the championship, but owner Tony Khan would not accept it. More word has come out since this bombshell with regards to an interim world champ while CM Punk repairs his foot, and, uh, well, it gets a little convoluted. So at the June 26th Forbidden Door pay-per-view where AEW's CM Punk was supposed to take on New Japan Pro Wrestling's Hiroshi Tanahashi, now due to Punk's injury, the plan is for a battle royal to take place during this upcoming week's Dynamite. The winner of that battle royal will take on Jon Moxley in the main event, and the winner of that match will face a challenger to be named later for the title at Forbidden Door. My money, whoever wins that battle royal is going to lose to John Moxley, and Moxley ends up going one-on-one -on -one with Tanahashi for the belt. Solely because Moxley has been gunning for Tanahashi since he was AEW World Champ. The potential here is for Moxley to become AEW's first two-time World Champ, though as an interim champ the idea is that we would get Punk vs Mox once Punk's foot has recovered. They could always surprise us and put the title on Tanahashi as well, that way we do get the match they originally announced for Forbidden Door last week. AEW's been very careful not to be specific on Punk's injury though, which means we don't really have a timeline for when he would be good to return. Now when I first heard there was going to be an interim champion instead of Punk vacating it, I admit, I groaned. We just had an interim TNT title thing less than six months ago, and it was stupid. For those who don't remember, Sammy Guevara had lost his TNT championship to Cody Rhodes at the beginning of the year. A week later, Rhodes had come in contact with somebody who tested positive for COVID and had to be quarantined. Because of that quarantine, Rhodes had to miss a Battle for the Belt special, and AEW scrapped the Guevara Rhodes rematch in favor of an interim TNT title match, which Guevara won. Of course, this was only for Cody Rhodes to return a week later. The two would unify their titles in a ladder match after this, only 18 days after the interim title had been formed in the first place. Now, with that said, Punk's injury is a whole lot more serious. We can guess on where and how he injured himself. Could have been that buckshot lariat attempt, or the other buckshot lariat attempt from Double or Nothing. From now until I retire, make sure you always tell me to never attempt a buckshot lariat ever again. <laughs> Could have been from that crowd dive at Dynamite, though it looked like he hit his knee there, not his foot. Or it could have been during the six-man tag match he participated in shortly afterwards. What we have to hope for is whatever his injury is, that it's hairline, that he recovers sooner rather than later. If he is back for All Out, that'd be huge. If it's closer to full gear, then an interim champion makes sense. Because when it comes to the world title, Tony Khan does historically book his reigns up to a year in advance, with a specific champion in mind. The last thing we need is for him to go all Vince McMahon on us and start throwing the script out of the window every single week because of this. Now this is all just my opinion though, and I do want to ask you, what do you think about the CM Punk news? Should they have vacated the title while he recovers? Or is an interim champion the best for a short term while he recuperates? Who do you think is going to become the interim champion at Forbidden Door and take on Punk when he returns? Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more because I want you to be a part of this conversation too. For now though, I better get my shoulders off the mat, so I want to thank you for tuning in to Jobbed Out. I'll catch you next time.